What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Ubisoft Plus, which will be coming to PlayStation very soon. I will have some Ghost of Tsushima gameplay in the background. I hope you guys enjoy that. But Ubisoft announced that its subscription service called Ubisoft Plus will hit PlayStation, bringing with it a tier for PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium subscribers called Ubisoft Plus Classic, which will include 27 titles at launch. Ubisoft Plus is a standalone subscription service that anyone on PlayStation consoles will be available to subscribe to, just as you can on Stadia, Amazon, and PC. If you're a PS Plus Extra or Premium subscriber, you'll automatically get access to the new tier of Ubisoft Plus called Ubisoft Plus Classics. There's going to be some games in there included at launch, things like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, For Honor, The Crew 2, Far Cry, uh, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon, Far Cry 3 Remastered, Far Cry 4, uh, Risk, two of, both of the uh, South Park games, Space Junkies, Star Trek, Bridge Crew, Steep, The Crew, The Division, and of course, a couple more. Uh, there's going to be 27 games, like I said, at launch, and Ubisoft Classic will provide PlayStation Plus players with a new way to enjoy Ubisoft games on their console. The Vice President, of course, over at Ubisoft, or when the senior vice president says this is just the beginning as we will ultimately make Ubisoft Plus available to PlayStation owners as they continue to build our vision and provide players with more options to access their favorite games wherever they are. Of course, Ubisoft Plus Classics will launch uh, a bundle with the PlayStation Plus Extra or Premium subscription tiers on May the 24th in Asia, June the 2nd in Japan, June the 13th in North and South America, and June the 23rd in Europe. Now, they did not talk about any more games that will be coming to this later down the road. They just listed those, of course, a couple of games uh, that will be coming at launch, and there will be 27 of those in total. I will put all this information down in the description if you would like to look over it for yourself. But this is just another thing I think that Sony is trying to do, you know, getting partners with, you know, kind of some of these different companies to go ahead and add their games to their platform. So you will have a kind of ease of access thing to where you can play a lot of different games from a lot of different companies. And hopefully we will see more of this added to PlayStation in the future. Now, I know a lot of people will be kind of, I guess, a little bit concerned that it is kind of tied to some of these different tiers of the new PlayStation Plus options that we have. Hopefully, in the future, Sony will kind of look at this and decide exactly how they're going to do it. But I know not everyone is going to want to buy the highest tier of, you know, PlayStation Plus or the second highest tier. They may just want to keep the one they have where they have, you know, access to play online and things like that. They may not want to pay extra. But we'll kind of just have to wait and see how that works out in the future. And plus, we'll have to wait and see what, uh, you know, games these subscription services are going to start bringing to the table. Because I think a lot of people may have played some of these games in the past. They may not want to have access to the Ubisoft Classic, you know, kind of right now. But in the future, there may be some newer games added to it that people will be very interested in playing. And like I said, overall, hopefully Sony will continue to do things like this where it doesn't cost us too much, but we still will have access to some really good games to play. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.